Hey everybody, Mark here, and I just want to give you a couple of tips today for how to do well in your IELTS speaking test. Uh, this is a little different because uh, I've usually done writing, and it's a bit tricky to do these speaking test lessons online, but we'll see how it goes. The reason I'm doing this is I got some great news today from an old student. He told me, he, he, he sent me a message showing me his IELTS score, and he got a 9 in his speaking test, and I was extremely impressed and extremely proud. A few weeks before, another student told me that she got a 7.5 in her speaking test, so she came up from a 6.5 to a 7.5 and I just want to share with you some of the strategies that I taught them to help them give better answers especially in part two so we're gonna look at part two of the speaking test as you know this is the part where you have to give a short two-minute talk about a familiar topic uh, now the focus of this video is not going to be grammar or vocabulary but rather how to extend your ideas and how to give a thoughtful answer and the more thoughtful an answer you give the more uh, the more grammar you're going to use the more different types of sentences and connectors you're going to use the more thoughtful your answers are uh, you know the better the better vocabulary you're going to use and I just want to share some of these strategies so that's the first thing we're going to talk about how to extend your answers. That's the most important thing we'll look at. Uh, two, how to avoid the most common problem to start your talk quickly and with excellent pronunciation. And how to use better connectors and avoid just adding information by going and, and, and. It's not wrong, but if you want to get that higher score, you need to have a better way to connect your ideas. All right, so we'll take a look at that uh, a little bit. Uh, over the next couple of minutes. First of all, that's me. I know you guys love to see your teachers. Well, that's me. Uh, this is an older photo of me. That was when I was back in Washington. My friend was taking a photo of me and these three guys came into the background, ruined my photo, because otherwise it's a really nice photo. Don't know what I was looking at. Anyway, he can take off for now. All right, so as you know, this is what part two of the exam looks like. Describe a film you really enjoyed, you should say what the film was about, what it, or sorry, what the film was, what it was about, when you saw it, and why you liked it. All right, now I'm going to be talking about one of, well, one movie that I really enjoyed. Uh, it's called Alien, and it's by my favorite movie director, Ridley Scott. This film is a science fiction thriller. I'll put a link to the trailer uh, at the bottom of the video. Now, first thing, first thing is this. Do not read the question in your answer. Do not start your answer by saying, I am going to describe a film I really enjoyed. Uh, you're gonna have a minute to make notes. The first thing you should say is just come out and start talking. Um, you know, the movie I, a movie I enjoyed, or just say, I'm going to talk about Alien, which was directed by Ridley Scott. Okay, that's the best way to start for two reasons. One, whenever I see my students read the question, it just kills their pronunciation. They just, they read it out loud and it's very flat. Secondly, uh, you just don't need to say this. It's wasting time that you could use to say more important things. Um, and basically it's not gonna affect your grade. So don't do it, don't read this out. Uh, so that's the most important thing <laughs> for starting. Uh, next, usually the most important one to talk about is this. Why did you like the movie? Okay. Now, you want to try and get to that. If you don't, it's not a big deal. But you do want to try and talk about this. This is where you're going to give the most information. This is where you're going to express your ideas more fully. All right. So it is important that you get to that. Now, let's take a look at some of the strategies I've got here. Uh, first of all, the first thing you're going to do is say what the movie was. Very quickly, I've already done that. I'm going to talk about Alien, which was directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, this movie is a science fiction thriller. Then I need to talk about what it was about. So that part is going to be pretty short. I'll just say this movie is about, some, uh, about seven astronauts who are working for a mining company, and they are sent to a planet uh, to look for some sort of resource, but they come across an alien life form. This alien gets onto their ship, and uh, a lot of bad things happen to the crew. All right, so again, I've just very quickly gone into it. 
it's it's not that important to get into it that much. Uh, when I saw it, I might just say, okay, so I saw it for the first time maybe 20 years ago when I was much, much younger, uh, but I've watched it recently because a friend of mine had downloaded it and we watched it together. Or, you know, maybe you've seen it on TV or maybe you just wanted to watch it again and you watched it. Um, so those things are going to be relatively short to answer. Now you can extend them, but we're going to do that more here. Uh, so over on this side, you've got some strategies. Okay. Now, what you want to think about is not that you're answering these ideas, but that you're doing these things. Okay. To to give a more thoughtful answer, you want to express your feelings and emotions, uh, and you want to talk a little bit about the past. Okay. You may talk about the past, something that was different. You know why. Why is it different now, or what was different about it? I'll give you an example in a minute. Uh, you can talk about differences here. All right, so you've watched this movie. Do you usually watch this type of movie? Do you usually enjoy this type of movie? What kind of movie do you usually enjoy? And finally, specialness, as I've put it here. Like, what's so special about this that you're, that you're talking about? What is the importance of it? Like, why are you telling me this? Make it interesting. Make it... Uh, thoughtful for the person who's listening to you. I'm going to give you some examples right now. So again, if we're talking about feelings, all right, look at the first one. I had never mm, before, all right? So again, you're talking about why you like this movie. I had never seen such a scary movie before, or I had never seen such an artistically made movie before, or I'd never seen a movie that was so scary, but at the same time, so artistically made because the set design was outstanding. Um, the, a lot of the sets were designed by a famous artist named Geiger, and his art is absolutely crazy, and to see it in a film like this is amazing. All right, so again, the emotion is the important part, not the information, okay? How did the film make you feel? Another example here. Again, I'm explaining why I liked the movie. Uh, compared to the past. Now, in this case, it might not work with these three here at the bottom, but if we look at the first one, you might say, you know, in the past, or when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of action movies. I liked those movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Bruce Willis, but this movie was different. It was a suspenseful movie. It Action movies move very quickly, but this movie was very slow, and it took a long time, but because it took a long time, it was even scarier and even more exciting than an action movie. Um, that's one way you might approach it compared to the past. These ones don't really work in that case. But here, highlighting differences. Okay, I usually don't watch science fiction, but this time I did, and then explain why you watched it or, or why this was so impressive, even though you usually don't like it. Uh, differences again. Ridley Scott's made a lot of famous movies. You might say most people prefer his movie Gladiator, but I find this movie better because it's unique, and you give those reasons. Or most people love Gladiator, but I like Alien because it was the first movie that was like this. It was the first movie that had an evil alien as the villain in it. Okay, so again, make those comparisons. It's also going to give you more to talk about. It might just look like one sentence here, but you're probably going to extend the idea a lot more. And the final one, specialness, which I've written about. Uh, there's a few of these here. This one might be important, right? Uh, I remember this movie because. Okay, so I remember it because I watched it when I was 15. Um, I had seen Aliens before, but that was a different type of movie. This movie was memorable because, and then explain why or this one here, before watching this movie, or before this, I had never thought of, and then whatever your answer is. So I might say, uh, before watching this movie, I had never seen um, such art in a horror movie before, or I had never seen such an artistic science fiction movie before, or I had never been so scared, even though there were so few violent scenes in the film, okay? Uh, or, you know, I remember it because even though there were only seven characters, or because when because there were only seven characters, any time one of the characters died, you felt 
stronger emotions or you felt upset that they had died. All right, so these are just some of those strategies you might use. Instead of just going, you know, if I explain why I liked it and I say and, 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 and this is what a lot of times happens, at least when students are beginning to practice this part of the test. So these are just some ideas you can talk about. Now let's apply it to a few other types of questions. So here we are, we've got describe a place you went on vacation. You should say where it is, when you went there, why you went there, and explain what you liked about this place. So in this case, I'm going to talk about uh, Thailand. All right, so I went to Thailand a few years ago. Let me talk about it. That's fairly straightforward. Where it is, we know where Thailand is. I went there a few years ago. Now, why you went there and what you liked about this place, these are the ones that are going to be interesting. Why did you go there? Well, I had never been to a tropical country before. I'd never been to a country famous for having beaches before. So this is where we can get into it here. Back in Canada, I usually went on skiing vacations, or I usually went to mountains for skiing. But here, I went to lie on the beach, or I went to you know, go scuba diving, which is something I had never done before. All right, so again, right, you're comparing to the past to make it more interesting. Or you know, might say here, right, usually, usually I go skiing or snowboarding during my holidays. But this time I went to the beach and I just went scuba diving or I went snorkeling or I just lay on the beach all day. So again, you're explaining why it's different and that's really important. Uh, same thing here, you know, why was it interesting? You know, why was it fun? Why do you remember it so well? Um, and you know, again, why? What? What was new? Before this, I had never been to an Asian country. Uh, before this, I had never, you know, in my case, before this, I had never been to a country where I couldn't speak the language. You know, like that was the first time I went to a country where I couldn't say anything, and it was very unusual for me, or at least I wasn't there long enough to learn any of the language. And uh, I thought that, uh, you know, it would be kind of a nice vacation for me to be in a situation where I wasn't working to learn the language. Usually, if I go to a new country, I live there for a little while and I learn the language, but this time I didn't. So you see, even now, I'm extending the answer a little bit. Um, and again, another example here, a historical figure who you admire. You know, explain why you respect this person, why they're important to history. So again, those last two are the two ones you really want to talk about. Um, uh, let's say if I'm talking about an important uh, historical figure, which is in Canada, Terry Fox. He ran across Canada. Uh, he only had one leg. He had one prosthetic leg, and he did this to raise money and raise awareness about cancer. Now, uh, some of these you might not include because, again, it's not about a personal thing. But you might say this, right? When most people talk about important Canadians, they might talk about John MacDonald, our first uh, prime minister, or Pierre Trudeau, or um, you know another historical figure. Or they might talk about Gandhi or Nelson Mandela. So you might say, you know, most people think about him when they Gandhi when they think about an important historical figure. But I think about Terry Fox, and then you give your reasons why you've chosen this person, uh, because he showed what a single man is able to do uh, if even though he's been suffering from cancer. Uh, so, you know, you might give you some of these just to extend those ideas a little bit. Anyway, that's all. I was just really excited when I heard that news from my student today. And so I just wanted to go over some of those strategies with you and share them with you. So please remember, uh, one, do not read the questions during your answer. Secondly, Avoid overusing and. Now, if you start doing it, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. But when you're practicing, try to avoid it. And of course, focus on that final part. Uh, a couple of other tips, ladies and gentlemen. You know, take the time to study these things. Learn about a few important historical figures. Uh, take the time to think about a place you've gone on vacation or a place you would like to go on vacation. And the easy one, watch some movies. You know, and, and I told some students today, don't watch movies, watch directors, all right? If you really enjoy a movie, find out some of their other movies. 
uh, watch those movies. Really learn about why this film or why this director are so special. You know, Ridley Scott's a genius. He puts together these amazing films and, uh, you know, he's talked about how he can imagine the whole film before he makes it. You know, these directors aren't just pointing a camera and shooting. They have these amazing visions and, uh, you know, it would be interesting to learn about. And you're going to give a more thoughtful answer if you do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Uh, please remember, these are these key strategies that you can use to help give fuller answers. Try them out the next time you're in your IELTS class, the next time you're preparing, or uh, if you're just writing a journal. All of these things can help you out. Uh, best of luck, everyone. Please let me know if it helps. And uh, yeah, talk to you later.